we have an Atwood machine. An Atwood machine is a pulley with a rope or cord or string or whatever over it and two things hanging off of either side. I've labeled them as block A and block B. In all of the Atwood machine problems that the honors class does, we say that the string has negligible mass, so we can ignore that in terms of its mass. And that our pulley has negligible mass in comparison to the mass of block A and block B. And that our pulley is frictionless. So, given that we have a string of negligible mass and a pulley of negligible mass that is moderately frictionless, to solve this, we need to uh, look at the difference between the weights of block A and block B. It's the fact that I've gone ahead already and calculated their weights. I've just said that block A has a mass of um, 6 kilograms, which is a weight of 58.8 newtons. Remember, multiply mass times 9.8. And block B has a mass of 4 kilograms, which is a weight of 39.2 newtons. It's the fact that these two numbers are different. That's why it accelerates. A is heavier than B, and so you know that when you release this, A is going to go down and B is going to go up in that direction. So we'll consider that direction to be positive. For the honors class, whichever way it accelerates, just go ahead and consider that to be positive. There is, in more advanced physics, there is a rule of thumb counterclockwise is positive, clockwise is negative, but don't worry about it. For the honors class, whichever way it's naturally going to go, just make that way positive. It's easier to handle. So, we need to draw force diagrams for each of these things. For a moment, let me just draw them right on here, then I'll go over there and solve it. But you know that the string here, the A is going to go down, but, but the string is pulling up with the tension in A. And then A also has weight. Well, B has weight. Obviously, I'm, that's a pretty lame looking arrow. And there's tension pulling up on B. A is going to go downwards. Let's get a different color. A is going to go down, accelerate downwards. B is going to accelerate upwards. This weight is greater than the tension. That's why A accelerates downwards. This tension is greater than the weight of B. That's why B accelerates upwards. B has less weight than A. You need to pay attention to those when you draw your force diagram. So, block A has weight. Block B has less weight. Block A accelerates downward, so the tension arrow must be less than that. So that should be, this tension arrow should be obviously less than that weight arrow for A. Block B accelerates upwards. And so this tension arrow should be greater than the weight of B. And notice that these two tensions are the same. Provided that we have negligible mass and friction in the pulley, then the two tensions are the same. The tension remains the same throughout the string on either side of the pulley. Those two should be drawn the same length. That should be longer than the weight. That's why B accelerates up. This tension should be less than that weight. That's why A accelerates down. Okay? Now, to find the acceleration of this, to find the acceleration of either block, find the acceleration of the system. This is a compound system. A and B, two separate blocks attached by a string. Find the acceleration of the system. Acceleration equals net force all over mass. You cannot look at the individual blocks to find the acceleration because you don't know the tension. But if you look at the, if you look at the, um, if you look at the whole system, then the tension becomes internal. Again, the net force acting on the system is the difference between the weights, and those we know. So it's the difference between the weights. Subtract the larger weight minus the smaller weight to give yourself a positive acceleration. 
and it's divided by the mass of everything accelerating. So that's going to be 58.8 less the weight of B, 39.2, all over the mass of everything accelerating. Add them up. Don't subtract them. Sometimes people do that. Ah! Add up the masses, right? You have 6 plus 4 is 10 kilograms accelerating, right? 10 kilograms total, 6 plus 4. So what is that net force? That net force, the difference between the weight is, um, don't panic, I calculated it. It's 19.6 newtons divided by a mass of 10 is an acceleration of 1.96 meters per second squared. The other